Book of Genesis, chapter 20. Abraham and Abimelech. From there, Abraham journeyed toward the territory of the Negev and lived between Kadesh and Shur, and he sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, you are a dead man because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. Now Abimelech had not approached her. So he said, Lord, will you kill an innocent people? Did he not himself say to me, She is my sister? And she herself said, He is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and the innocence of my hands I have done this. Then God said to him in the dream, Yes, I know that you have done this in the integrity of your heart, and it was I who kept you from sin sinning against me. Therefore I did not let you touch her. Now then, return the man's wife, for he is a prophet, so that he will pray for you, and you shall live. But if you do not return her, know that you shall surely die, you and all who are yours. So Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told them all these things, and the men were very much afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said to him, What have you done to us, and how have I sinned against you, that you have brought on me and my kingdom a great sin? You have done to me things that ought not to be done. And Abimelech said to Abraham, What did you see that you did this thing? Abraham said, I did it because I thought there is no fear of God at all in this place, and they will kill me because of my wife. Besides, she is indeed my sister, the daughter of my father, though not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And when God caused me to wander from my father's house, I said to her, This is the kindness you must do to me. At every place to which we come, say of me, He is my brother. Then Abimelech took sheep and oxen and male servants and female servants and gave them to Abraham, and returned Sarah his wife to him. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you. Dwell where it pleases you. To Sarah he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. It is a sign of your innocence in the eyes of all who are with you, and before everyone you are vindicated. Then Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abimelech, and also healed his wife and female slaves, so that they bore children. For the Lord had closed all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. So, first note that I took down was in verse 2. In verse 2, And Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. This very much mimics uh, chapter 12 of Genesis when... Say you are my sister, that it may go well with me because of you, and that my life may be spared for your sake. When Abram entered Egypt, the Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful. When the princes of si when the princes of Pharaoh saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh, and the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. So there's very much a mimicking pattern going on here with Sarah, where whenever Abraham and Sarah enter a new place, Sarah has to say that Abraham is her brother. Abraham Abraham has to say that she is her that she is his sister, and then the king of the place will you know, take her. And then, usually, they end up sort of cursed by God, like the kings of the place. So, that's just a reoccurring pattern that I've seen. And I think it happens again. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I've read through, like, the full book of Genesis. So, you know, just... That's a neat little pattern I want to point out. Uh... In verse 3 of chapter 20. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, you are a dead man because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. So here we see that God is appearing to the king of Gerar, Abimelech, 
and he is warning him that if he were to go any further with Sarah, he will surely die, and so will his offspring. Uh, and you know, that's, I don't know if that's just because Abraham is a prophet, and that's why God is being very protective over Abraham and Sarah, but... I mean, yeah, it does kind of come across that way. Uh, so, you know, Abimelech is, goes into the whole conversation between Abimelech and God where he's basically preaching his innocence, saying, I didn't know this. Uh, I didn't want to take a man's wife. I, I was acting out of an innocent heart. And God understands this. In verse 6, Then God said to him in the dream, Yes, I know that you have done this in the integrity of your heart, and it was I who kept you from sinning against me. Therefore I did not let you touch her. So God has stopped Abimelech from sinning against him uh, by, you know, not letting him... Yeah, right? And, uh... I know, I just find that phrase very interesting, that God had stopped someone from sinning against him. Because we don't really ever see that happening. But it's interesting that it has happened in the Old Testament. So, yeah, God had stopped Abimelech from sinning against him. He made Abimelech return Sarah to Abraham. And he, Abimelech, also gave, you know, Abraham and Sarah, like, a place to dwell. They could pick wherever out of the land that they wanted to. They gave, uh, Abimelech gave Abraham, like, or Abimelech took sheep and oxen and male servants and female servants, gave them to Abraham and returned Sarah, his wife, to him. And Abimelech, and Abimelech, said, Behold, my land is before you, dwell where it pleases you. So yeah, you know, like he's he's making it up to Abraham. He's given Abraham a place to stay. That could be because he knows he's a prophet now. So he's given him like a special treatment for that. And in verse seventeen, then Abraham prayed to God and God healed Abimelech and also healed his wife and female slaves so that they bore children. So here we see God not only healing Abimelech, but also healing the women because Abraham had prayed to God to, you know, heal these people. And God did that. He made it so that the females of Gerar could now bear children. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything I got out of this. That was the quick bunch of notes that I took down. So yeah. That's everything I have to say today. Keep earning what no one else is. And have a blessed day.